Okay, now the, the other blue that I've used here is 143. And what I've done is I've used it, used it on top of the 181, which I put in earlier. Let me just show you how this works. It's not going to stay blue, but it gives the tone that we need. Now, this is a long job, so what I'll do is I'll just do this little bit, and then I'll do the rest of it. And there we are. Now, on top of that, yes, I'll do the rest of it in stop-start in my usual fashion. And then we want the black. Now, the black is, is quite strong. We want the black on top. And this is area here is very dark. So I'll put the black in there. And we also want the black in there. Uh, you're going to need sharp pencils for this. But all, all you can do is, is do the best you can. And we've got to keep the detail to a minimum. There's a bonnet that comes over there like that. It's a break in the bonnet. And we've got to keep that. I'm going to keep the radiator grill. Now what I've done, I've done, I'll show you how I've done that in a minute if I haven't already showed you. I can't remember what I've done or what I haven't done there. But what I did, I put a bit of grey on there. Do a double three grey. And then we'll use the white. I may have to do this a few times. But the contrast between the white and the, the gleaming white of the radiator there and the contrast should be enough yes it looks good to me yes a bit of black now a little bit of black on here too so it, it turns down the blue but the blue is important to be there then i've used uh 230. Now, 230 as you know is a fantastic blender so what we're able to do with this is to use it like a blender and to very very lightly go over it giving ourselves just a touch lighter and smoother finish and where we've got a shine which will be probably at the top we can add just a little bit more and then it gives creates a little bit of a shine on them and down here well, I don't think we can do very much but we can just put just uh, just a little bit of detail in there makes it look as though something's going on I think it looks quite nice. Um, in here, uh, this is where I've got to make that just a little stronger. I'm using, I've used the grey and then I've used the 181. But what we need in there is another colour. So what I've decided to do is to use um, a brown. And I'm just deciding which one. I think one, 177. Now why do I do that? Well, I just want the brown, uh, the brown to be a little bit of relief from the black and the blue. So that's, and I imagine that we would have a certain amount of colour inside. Now you can see what I've also done here is I've added a few extra colours. Uh, and that was a little bit of ochre. A little bit of blue. Now, what does that mean, Colin? Not a lot, folks, but it just means that something's inside there. You see what I mean? And you can do the same thing here. A little bit of brown, a little bit of ochre, to, to indicate that something's going on inside there. All right? Just a little thing. Um, now, we can also continue with the black, making it just a little darker on this edge. Now what we've got there is a blue. I put blue in there and I think I'm going to put a little bit more blue. But once again, we can't really leave it blue. But let me just come down here and show you how I get over that. And then we use the grey again, just as we did up here. And the grey makes it just that little bit lighter. Now there's not much more you can do, folks, to be honest. Anyway, now I'm going to go through the rest of the taxi with the same idea. Let me just show you how this last little bit here will work. This has got to be dark. Now I'm using 181. Now here you can't put the light back on it because you'll never get a contrast. So here we've got to 
leave it dark. And I would leave it with the 181. We can always return to that at a later date. Now, what do we do about that? Well, that stuff's going to have to come in like that. And then the steering wheel will come in and we'll just have a little bit of light on the steering wheel like that. Not much you can, more you can do with it. Okay, so that's that. Now, when that when we fill in the background there, which will be the greens and the other colours that we've got, I'll just show you what I mean by that. There's almost certainly be green there, so we'll put a little bit of green in, and then you can see how it's going to feature through there. There's a bit of ochre, can't have it all green. A bit of ochre as well. You see how it's all going to work out. So I've got quite a job on my hands here. What I've got to do is I've got to work all of the colours and dark colours. Well, I'd start with 181 and then add the black on top. Anyway, you can leave that with me. I will show you all of it, but I'll show you in little bits and pieces as we go through.